Hey guys, this is Sean Klinger with Vital MX, and we're here with Matthias Beyer, marketing coordinator from Showing North America. So basically, I have a uh, a showy large here in the Evo, the uh, VX VFX Evo, right? Um, and as far as fitment goes, I felt like it was a, a little bit loose. Um, I typically wear a large helmet, but um, I talked to Matthias about this, and he suggested I come in for a uh, a fitment session and uh, what's the program called? What we call in it is the personal fitting system PFS and what we do is we take a series of four different measurements um, the height of your head, the length, the width and also the circumference and what we do is we punch all those uh, parameters into our computer and match it up with the showy profile in the VFX Evo. So right now this is relatively new and um, you guys are based in Southern California Yes. So this is available to people that want to do it? Yeah, right now we're still in the experimental stage right now, uh, testing out the waters to see how the market reacts to this kind of system. Um, but so far it's been very beneficial to the consumer. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, we're still in the experimental stage, so it's only going to be done here in Southern California or select events that we want to go out and, and, and uh, do this uh, at an event or so. But. Um, unfortunately, yeah, I've got to be in the California area or in the LA area to, to take advantage of this. But I, I would say that, I mean, so we'll start with me using me as a, a test subject that it shows the benefit of the system because uh, starting with a large, um, we found some interesting things. So let's talk about my results a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah, basically we did the four measurements and we found that you're using the size large helmet But when you put that helmet on it was a little bit loose a little bit sloppy up and down a little bit, right? Right um, When we measured your head profile shape actually we found out that the medium size would be a little bit more of a recommended size Your profile is actually a little bit wider profile than the showy uh, kind of profile shape so what it also recommends is we would want to put a little bit of additional padding in the front and in the rear um, to comp compensate that and basically create a, a consistent contact patch where the helmet's going to you know, distribute that load across the whole part of your crown. Right. So all, this is the stock large. Yes. Bone stock large right there. So we can try Give a this little guy uh, demonstration here and explain that what I was fitting, what I was feeling is basically how much that moved a little and, bit too much yeah and uh but it it was comfortable around my my cheeks and stuff i think that's why i typically go with the large but this isn't from a safety standpoint this isn't the best situation right you're right in the bubble of between the two right there um ideally you can go with a large is what we're going to do and fit, fit you up in but uh you could probably go down to a size medium and we're going to do another test on that in an, another time but in order to get your sizes large fitting a little bit better, uh, what we actually did is remove the stock center pad from here. And you can see the stock center pads right there. And what we're going to replace it with was your optional L13 center pad. And when you're saying L, it's L9. And, and here's 13. the L13. And the L13 is basically going to give you a thicker... Uh, center pad all the way around and on top um, but what we also did is we added additional foam layers on the rear and on the front uh, to give yourself a little bit more contact patch you really should be in the medium size but this is kind of going to be a, a in between size for you so and when we're looking at what's on the uh, table here these are all different thicknesses uh, for different areas of the helmet uh, th these ones are the front ones up here um, these are cheek pads? Uh, those are going to be the sides, the not sides. the cheek pads. Not, not the, cheek side pads. the side profile. The side, side profiles. Mm -hmm. And then these are the top. Um, and, and then the rear. The, the back. Yes. Okay. And something else that uh, we were talking about is that different profiles and different head shapes is, is something that we produce all over the world. Now, you're a little bit more on the rounder side, but uh, for future purchases, you just need to know that your helmet's going to be contacting you right here but you want to try maybe fill with a little bit of additional padding on the front and the rear. Yeah, um, and I, I think what a lot of people out there, it's good to know, I mean, doing this for, for any brand is is ideal, but like the the fact that I kind of was under the, the, the perception that I was a relatively oval shape just because, and 
European descent and you know just kind of that's the what standard yeah that's yeah. what's expected but we found out with these that the the length is actually kind of a I mean the the height was a large um, tall but yeah, then very tall. front to back was even a small small and then side to side was medium, medium. you got three different shapes, so, but the yeah. balance is what you're trying to figure right. out on that and there's something we like to say and if there's uh, uh, head shapes are just like snow uh, snowflakes and fingerprints there's no right. two that are alike out there so trying this on I mean there is very little movement I can still get a little bit but the, I can feel immediately that the contact in the front and back that I wasn't feeling before Perfect. I mean in in a supportive way not in a pressure point it doesn't right. feel bad it feels like how it should fit you know so that's uh that's definitely a big improvement over Excellent. over the stock and from a safety there. point of view, it's it's going to be safe for helmet too. You're going to be more comfortable. Um, won't be bouncing around on you when you're when you're out hitting the jumps. So right, um, yeah, ideal. That's what you want to look for. Um, so, and I think it's pretty common out there that a lot of the users, it's, it's pretty high percentage of people that oversize the helmet, and then mm -hmm. after it breaks in and after a few sessions, they're often buying thicker center pads and thicker cheek pad options to really you know compensate for that looseness that they've experienced. So uh, for for me, if I was going to get a medium, because mm -hmm. overall that that would take a lot less modification to fit my head shape. Yes. There's the option of I didn't know this, but uh, to swap out the cheek pads. So tell That's me correct. about that. Uh, with Sean's case, he experienced a lot more pressure in the size small. Uh, I'm sorry, the size medium helmet yeah. right here in the Chip cheeks, where it's just really tight on him. Um, so we actually have uh, different size cheek pads. Um, these are still 35s, but we also offer a 31 option. And the 31 option, you can um, basically in the point of purchase, if your dealer will do it for you, that's great. You can swap it out for you and get the 31s. Um, or if you buy it online and you're not able to do it at the dealer point of purchase, just pull these cheek pads out in brand new condition. You can send them over to us and we'll swap them out for the right size you do want. Either relieve that pressure or you can go up to two stages thicker. We go uh, up to a 39 and also a 43. And my personal favorite is the 39 and got a little thin profile face. Right. I, I like the thicker ones. So overall, um, what is what is the plan for this going forward? Or um, what can can customers take away if they're they're looking at buying a, a show? Well, um, we do have a lot of customizable options already from our optional sizing, you know, with the thicker or thinner center pads. Um, the future of the PFS is a little bit uncertain right now. There's mm -hmm. a, quite a few challenges we face here in the United States. Um, it's a very large country. Uh, there's thousands of dealers everywhere. And in order to do this type of system, we, we want to stand behind our premium presentation in the marketplace, so we have to do it the correct way. So it takes really a certified technician to be able to do the correct measurements, adjust the padding, test it out, and you know make sure you're doing it correctly and safely as well. Right. Uh, it does take a little bit of time. I think I spent about 30, 40 minutes with you right now doing this. So that's an additional effort that the dealership has to kind of do as well. So right. uh, a couple challenges, but we know we're, our heads are in the right direction and right. You know, we'll see in the future. And the, the different cheek pads and the different liner, um, just overall thicknesses are available for anyone to purchase. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that's, uh, that's all we got from Showy and thanks for watching. Thanks guys.